What's up, college football fans? Don't forget to check out and order your copy of Stiff Arming Football Myths, our latest football game plan book. So go on our website at footballgameplan.com slash books and get your copy. We have these available in paperback as well as in PDF form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our preview of the 2014 Franklin American Mortgage Music City Bowl between the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the LSU Tigers. Now let's take a look at some coaching points for both teams in this ball game, starting with Notre Dame. For Notre Dame in this ball game, the ground game has to return. When Notre Dame was sitting at 6-0 in the nation, this was a football team that could run the football against anyone in the country. They got to get back to that ground game versus LSU. And they have to match the physicalness at the point of attack. Right now, they're getting beat up up front on both sides of the ball. The defense have to do a better job. They have to do a better job of getting off blocks and making plays at or behind the line of scrimmage. And offensively, they have to start firing off the football to get that ground game going. Now, also defensively, you have to force Jennings into quick decisions. That's the quarterback for LSU, Anthony Jennings. Force him into quick and inaccurate or bad decisions, and that way you can rally up, make the tackle, and get off the field. And for LSU in this ball game, tight end play will be crucial. They have to find a way to get Dylan Gordon involved in the ball game. That just opens everything up on the outside for those talented freshman wide receivers to have success. And you can spread the field and run versus this Notre Dame defense. That's the one thing LSU can do well is run the football. It doesn't matter if it's coming out of a condensed set or a spread set. So I would spread the field, get more of your playmakers on it, reduce their ability to play great in the box defense and run the football downhill. And the second level pass defense, those linebackers have to excel in the short to intermediate passing game versus Notre Dame because that's going to be the biggest key. If they can win at the second level, they can ultimately win the game. The biggest X factor in this game for the Fighting Irish will be the play of their wide receivers versus the cornerbacks of LSU. When you look at Amir Carlisle, William Fuller, Corey Robinson, even Chris Brown, I believe those guys can not only win in space versus LSU, but also win the contested catch. I think this is a big time advantage for Notre Dame, and they have to find ways to exploit that versus LSU. And for the Tigers, the biggest X factor will be the play of their defensive ends. Danielle Hunter and Jamaria Rasko. Those guys have a tough task this week because not only do they have to get pressure on that fighting Irish passing game, but they also have to make sure they don't get out of position and over aggressive in how they rush the quarterback, Everett Golson, because he's a guy that can extend the play with his legs. And if you get over aggressive in your rush attempts, he's going to step up in the pocket, take off, get those cheap four to five yards, or even just extend the play and make a big play in the passing game. So you have to get push versus pressure versus goals, and that falls squarely on the shoulders of those two defensive ends. Now here are some 2015 draft prospects you want to keep an eye on in this ball game, and great collection of senior latent talent for both teams. You look at Jamario Rasco, Ronald Martin, Lyell Collins, Christian Lombard, those guys are excellent senior prospects. Ben Koyak, another tight end coming out of that Notre Dame program. And I'm a big fan of Amir Carlisle's versatility and what he can bring to the table as a receiver and also as a runner. And keep an eye on two tailbacks for LSU, Terrence McGee and Kenny Hill. Both guys that have shared time throughout the course of their Tiger career will probably end up being better pros than they were collegians. Ken McAfee was one of the best tight ends in college football history, played at Notre Dame from 1974 to 1977, in which he became a three-time All-American, and as a senior, he caught 54 passes for 797 yards, six touchdowns, winning the Walter Camp Award in the process. Wendell Davis was an explosive wide receiver for LSU from 1984 to 1987. He was a two-time All-American, and as a junior, he caught 80 receptions for 1,244 yards, which led the nation and also 11 touchdowns. And as a senior, he was first in receiving in the SEC with 72 receptions, 993 yards, and 7 TDs. In the 2004 Music City Bowl, Minnesota took on Alabama and the Gophers' two-headed monster in the backfield of Marion Barber and Lawrence Maroney, both of which ran for over 1,000 yards that season, was just too much for the Crimson Tide to handle as Minnesota ran their way to a 20-16 victory.
In the 2008 Hawaii Bowl, Notre Dame took on Hawaii and getting four touchdown passes from Jimmy Clausen, the Irish were able to route Hawaii 49-21, snapping a nine-game bowl losing streak. In the 2007 Sugar Bowl, LSU took on Notre Dame, and this was the second time LSU and Notre Dame met in a bowl game, also the second time that it was in the state of Louisiana. This was built as a showdown between two top quarterbacks in Notre Dame's Brady Quinn and LSU's Jamarcus Russell, and Russell would go on to have the better day, tossing three touchdown passes and running one in for a score as LSU spanked Notre Dame 41-14. I like LSU in this ball game. The game of football is a physical game, and when you look at LSU's strength, they're strong on both sides of the line of scrimmage in the trenches, offensive line and defensive line, I think both of which will lead them to victory. Look for LSU's offensive line to lean on that Irish defensive front and just hand the football off consistently to the stable of backs that they have in the backfield, Fournette, Hilliard, also McGee, and run their way to victory, winning the 2014 Music City Bowl.